Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of The 100. This is season number two, episode number six, titled Fog of War. So last episode, we actually ended in one of the most shocking moments of the series so far. Finn lost his goddamn mind. Point blank simple. This motherfucker just basically mowed down uh, like a, a, a what I would assume to be a harmless group of scavengers, but... I assume in this world, no one's really harmless. Everyone kind of just does what they need to do to survive. Like you guys said in the comments, you know. So I do read the comments. Don't worry about that. I love engaging with you guys down there as well. So that kind of puts things in perspective. Also, was Finn... Not Finn. Yeah, Finn. Was Finn doing what needed to be done? Whatever. I mean, he just lost his goddamn mind. I mean, th these were like... At first, he puts his gun to the back of a little girl... I mean, not like a little girl, but a young girl, like face first in the mud. He's like, I'm going to fucking blow her brains out if you don't tell me where our friends are. This guy's like, what the fuck? I only saw Octavia, you know? So that was the biggest change and biggest like, what the fuck? Because Clark looked at him and she's like, I don't even know who you are. Because she was kind of skeptical when Bellamy's kind of like updating her on, on Finn's kind condition status whatever you want to call it that he's lost his goddamn mind how many times am i gonna say this but yeah and what else did we have um maya there was like a containment breach maya got like really sick jasper opted to use his blood to filter out hers almost like a blood transfusion i don't know if that's the correct term you guys i'm sure will correct me in the comments down below if i am wrong you know but of course just be courteous about it you know i'm not the brightest bulb you know what i'm saying just reporting what i sees um so maya's good now right like she's good good but i i was kind of questioning it i was like what does Jasper know what's actually happening? Does he know, like, what's... Because she slipped up. The doctor slipped up when she talked to Monty, right? So maybe Jasper doesn't know, but Monty knows. Maybe I, mean, I was just confusing the two. Because um, Monty, when she was talking to Monty, she was saying, like, oh... I forget what exactly the words were, but he was like, wait a minute, how do you know that? She's like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. He was like, I, I meant to say it's expected that he's going to recover. Not like I've done this before at all. Winky eye, you know what I'm saying? Shifty eyes all over the place. I'm not a bad guy at all. Um, so yeah, I, and, and we got some weird storyline. I mean, it's not really weird. It's just kind of dull at this point. I don't know if that's going to like irritate some of you guys, but I'm just saying... The Lincoln stuff in this Cerberus project with this evil doctor down in the basement. I mean, that's kind of like a neat story idea. Like I think I mentioned in the last reaction in the post-show discussion. Like how there's the contrast between the evil doctor down in the basement versus the, the doctor that's helping people up in the ivory tower. So, and you get that contrast. He's like wearing all black and... Dr. Singh, she has the white coat, so it's like black and white and blah, 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 blah. So, you know, there's at least different shades of gray in here because they're not exactly bad people. But I guess if you wanted to label them, if you're to compare them and had to assign a role, the guy in the basement is doing bad things. The lady upstairs is doing good things. So I guess we're going to label her as good and him as bad because he's giving Lincoln some shit. And they're doing some tests. Like, I'm not, I don't really care what's, what's going on down there. I don't even think we even needed to see what was happening down there. That's just my opinion, though. Because um, I mean, we could just infer that they're doing shit to him. Like, we don't need to see him, like, raging out. You know what I'm saying? And, like, beating up other people. I mean, I guess it'd be... I guess I, I, guess I have to see where the storyline goes. And how it ties into everything. But I'm just like, it just felt kind of pointless. So, once again, that's just my opinion. But... Yeah, uh, outside of that, uh, some Abby shit, and Raven still uh, has that bum leg. <sighs> okay, I think I'm just going to end it there. All right, guys, so let's, before we hop in here, I do want to remind you guys, if you want to skip the YouTube highlights and you guys want to hop over to Patreon and watch this video with me in its entirety, full length, uncut, 
as well as early access to next week's episodes or a couple episodes. We're actually a couple episodes ahead. You know what I'm saying? So if any of that interests you, hop on over to Patreon. Links in the description down below or pin in the top comment. You're under no obligation, of course, but that's only if you want to just spend a little bit more time with me. That option is there. Um, but if you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All I gotta do is drop a like, comment down below what you want to see me react to next, subscribe if you haven't already, it's free, and of course, share it with your friends. It helps you, helps me, helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. That being said, let's stop talking. Let's hop into this episode, have a good time, and have them, you know, talk about me afterwards. All right, guys, here we go. I swear to God, if your mom doesn't sanction a mission soon, I'm going by myself. You won't be by yourself. How's Finn doing anyway? I haven't talked to him since we got back. Good. What's there to say? He's a psycho fuck. We're at war. Of all done things. Hey. Yeah, here we go. Hey. In this situation, I would not leave Clark alone with this guy. I mean, I'm sure she can handle herself, but you don't know his, like, state of mind. I mean, yeah, he's, like, overprotective of Clark. He loves Clark, but... I don't know. He just seems like he has a couple of screw loose. Yeah, don't fill him in 100%. He's, he's at arm's length. Let's put him on ice for a little bit. We did what we had to do. Trouble in paradise? Just because they pardoned you doesn't mean I have. Eh, whatever. What did Murphy do to Clark, personally? I know why we haven't heard from any of the other ARC stations. Well, why there's jamming us. Show me. So Mount Weather's just bad. Mm. It's the same signal Monty heard on the black box of the Exodus ship. Mount Weather crashed the Exodus ship. Can you get around the signal? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. No one is going anywhere. Oh, oh my god. To what do I have to do to get Mom's gotta go. You and your friends <laughs> are not soldiers. And continuing to- You're not either. Your doctor. Mount Weather is jamming our communications. It's true. I wouldn't tell them this. The ground of retaliation for the massacre could happen at any time, and when it does, we need every available man to defend this camp. So let us go. Okay. I was about to say it's like. With you. Oh my God! You are the chancellor. You cannot go. This is a mistake. I don't agree with this. Settled. No, it's not. Abby, that's really selfish. You have like a whole camp ahead of you. What if you die? Who's gonna take over camp? Burn? I'm still running tests, but his system appears to have jump started hers. You're saying that it's a permanent solution? Maya can survive on the ground. This changes everything. She just said it's not proven. Mr. President, we'll live longer and we'll feel better. Jasper volunteered. I will not put those kids in cages like animals. If you can convince the rest of them to volunteer, great. But what if you can't? Interesting. See, I see the old man is 50-50. It's almost like the angel and devil on his shoulders. Where are you going? To find you some volunteers. What if they don't volunteer? Then we'll have to do it anyway. Like I said, he's the bad guy. Oh, Raven can walk? Like, legit walk now? Was this established? I've just, like, just seen her following along. What the hell? Was she walking in the last episode and I didn't notice it? Two days without food or water. Come on. How many times on the arc did we go two days without water? To be fair, you were way too you trusting, to Kane. Way too Especially trusting. Now. Like, I understand trusting the guys at Mount Weather versus the savage fucks in the woods. Uh, what the Stop. fuck? We came in peace. We came in peace. Oh. You speak of peace, or you sent an assassin into one of my villages. Because of, uh, Finn? We will die here today. I already know how this is going to work. They're both going to want each other to kill them, but I assume Jaha's going to walk out of this alive. 
Who are you? And why are you talking in front of these guys? Your commander spoke of uh, an assassin in, in the village. Yes. We had nothing to do with that. It doesn't matter. The commander thinks you did. One of you must pick up the knife. What are you here for? Did I miss that? And if we refuse? Then the commander will use it to slit both of your throats. So either one of us makes it out of here or none of us makes it out. Got it. Jasper, I see I'm not the only one impressed by your courage. Oh, I just did what anyone would do. I'd like to believe that's true. Sir, I don't think I could do that for everyone. Of course not. But if you could inspire your friends, imagine the difference you could make here. That's a weird request. Like, what? It'll be dark soon. We'll never spot the traps. We should set up camp here. Leave it first light. Clark, we're in enemy territory, and their lives are my responsibility. They went to find a way in. That's not what this mission is about. It is for them. Find them. Bring them back. Yes, ma'am. You two with me. Mistakes were made. Go with them. Finn, wait. Finn. What do you think I'm gonna do? Finn. Back up, homeboy. Finn, come back. It was an accident. Bullshit. What was that? Oh, fuck. We didn't... What about everybody else? We're looking for... That fog else. looked like it just Anything came out of happen. nowhere. Okay. Like, what? Wait, wait. How did no one else get affected by that? Right now. Oh. That's See? We need cover. I hope there's a good explanation for this, because otherwise I'm just like... Hey. There's something in here. Maybe it's the ruins. Over here! Hurry, please! Get inside! I'm not gonna make it! Huh! Huh! He's the other guy's gonna fall. The guy Finn killed? It must smell horrible down there. Clark. Clark, do you read me? It's so weird how. All you need to do is get in the tent. What is that? I don't know. It sounds like they're jamming every frequency but this one. We'll be able to listen in on Mount Weather. Finn was cool for like a couple episodes, Stop. but then he just turned psycho, and I'm just like... I'm sure back to hating him. You're looking at me like I'm the enemy. I'm not looking at you like that. I've been waiting for moment to give you this. She better not turn around on him and be like, oh my god, Finn. This makes up for everything. It was around his neck. They gave us shelter, clean clothes. I mean, they kept us safe from the grounders. Miller? No, I'm out. Sorry, Jasper. I'm out too. They gave us cake. Yeah. We're going after Clark. Of course. Haha. <laughs> Hater. I'm so glad to see you're feeling better. Hey, it's pizza day. <laughs> Who's hungry? This could be a trap, but. Fuck okay. it. What the hell is going on? What? I'm sorry. I'm betting it was to get you. Too great to be your blood brother. I knew huh. it. Clark was right. To be quiet. Why would they do that to you? Because the standard treatment sucks compared to you. That's what Dante said. What's the standard treatment? Grounders. Why are you showing us this? Because I'm afraid. Oh uh, boy. Okay. Maya didn't screw us over. I thought when she said I'm sorry, I thought guards were gonna come up behind them. Without the treatments we die. 
What are we supposed to do? Die. Okay, Monty. If Clark got out, we can too. He'll never make it. We have to try. We're not leaving. I won't leave the others behind. The others don't give a damn about helping anybody, so... Keep searching. They pop up. Hit them again. They're talking about the fog. It's a weapon. Which means they attacked us. Sergeant Porter? Yes, ma'am. Build your bomb. When that fog lifts, take the tower down. Copy? I copy, ma'am. We're listening to the enemy. Blow the antenna and we won't be able to do that. Don't blow it and we won't make contact with any other ARC survivors. And we need those reinforcements, Raven. Tough call. Hmm. Check this out. That's probably not a good thing. That's sound. Right? Blake! Are you Blake? I love how two trained soldiers are gonna die, but two good-looking teenagers are gonna survive. The CW. <laughs> What the? F oh, and reapers just eat people like that, like zombies. It's Lincoln. What? What? Lincoln. What are the odds? It's Octavia. So they make reapers. What? What? I mean, that's kind of cool, but why is Lincoln there? These people. Yeah, both sides of the coin. Marcus, what are you doing? Is the twist he's gonna threaten the girl? No, right? There's only one way out of this. You have to kill me. I knew that was gonna happen. I said no. Hmm. You did not order the massacre. I wonder if she's just there just to listen in. You're a good man, Thelonious. I won't let you die for me. <laughs> How are you gonna stop the bleeding? Help us, please. Please. I must have been talking over the part where they explained why she's down there. And you guys are probably yelling at me in the comments. Oh, are you? I knew someone was going to do that. I didn't expect it to be Jaha, though. What is this? Just an excuse to do zombies? Just listen to me. I'll get him back. I promise. Take off these chains. And don't set This on like I. Didn't see that coming. I knew she had to have been some sort of spy or I some sort of... She'd be like a okay, yeah. She's the commander. I like that. What a twist. You're the commander. Of course, it's a beautiful girl. Break him out. In the meantime, your friend will be used to send a message. What? No. What, what, what? Blood must have blood. Oh my god, are they gonna kill Jaha? No, I bet Kane's gonna take his place or something. That's gonna be the sacrifice, right? Lincoln! Lincoln! See, I don't care about this. Can you hear me? I have an idea of how I would have done this. I'll talk about it in the post-show discussion, but I don't know. There's there's a couple of ways they could have done this, but they chose both ways, which doesn't feel like it's working. And you're all set, Monty. General anesthetic will take effect shortly. You agree to this? How high are you right now? 
I almost don't care that there's a six inch spike in my neck. What's the plan? I mean, Monty has to be say, in on the plan, us, right? Uh, more will come. I have no doubt. You saved us, right? There has to be something else going on, right? Yeah, he knows something is up. See, Doctor, that's our future. You just have to have a little faith in our shared humanity. You think I'm stupid? Tell me you weren't behind the breach that almost killed Maya. I wouldn't do that. Am I making myself clear? We bought ourselves some time, but we're gonna need to recruit some of the others. Only people we trust. How much more time are we talking about buying here? Exactly. They're on board now? We don't even know if Clark's still alive. Who are you? She has to be. What? Did I just, like, miss some scenes? No. No. Are you fucking kidding? Really? <laughs> we have to get a backstory about what really happened, right? I have a message from the commander. Leave or die. We have two days. Okay. So that was the 100 season two, episode six, Fog of War. I'm kind of mixed on this episode only because there's a couple of storyline choices and decisions that I'm just like, eh, I don't know about that. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I just kind of want to talk about it, kind of like see what your guys' thoughts are about the story. Um, so I'm not sold on the Lincoln Octavia thing that's going on right now. And I feel like that's because the show wrote themselves into a corner. Like, I felt like it was too cheesy to show the doctor shooting him up with this drug and having him go crazy and doing the whole sonic tone thing. Like, I feel like if you wanted the reveal of Lincoln being one of those creatures, it would have been cool if we didn't show him being experimented on. Because if we would have just cut all that out, because I didn't, I wouldn't care about that anyway. But if we were to cut all that out and we just have um, Lincoln being chosen by Dr. Singh, saying, move him to the project thing. We know nothing about him for this big stretch of episodes. And then all of a sudden, Octavia runs into him. That would have been a pop. Like, that would have been a nice surprise for the for the audience. And it would have gotten us, like, wondering. Like, the less we know, the better. Because now I'm just like, what? They started shooting him up all this. And what did we get? We got Lincoln, like, zombie Lincoln. Like, that, that just seems weird to me. On the other hand, if we didn't see that, if we didn't see the testing, if we didn't know exactly what was going on, and we just saw him uh, like a mindless, like drone or whatever, like they did something to him, like all he knows is like violence or carnage, that would be neat. But we didn't need to see it. You know what I mean? We we just needed to go from he's chosen to this is where he is. And if you wanted to go back, like I guess. The whole storyline is going to be, we need to redeem him. And he's going to tell us what happened or whatever. But if we would have done away with what was already done and just had the redemption arc for him and he would have, and we could have like, maybe we've gotten an episode of what happened or whatever, that would have been fine down the line. But I felt like as of right now, it just, it doesn't work. At least for me, that's my opinion. I don't know if, that's going to upset any of you guys. That's not my you know, point. I don't mean to upset anybody with this, but I'm just saying I wouldn't have done it that way. And But I guess we're just going to see how it, how the storyline wraps up. But for that storyline, I was just like, eh, whatever. Um, let's see what else. The Finn stuff is interesting, but only because I don't know where Clark or Raven are going to go with it. I don't feel like they need they need to it looks like they're setting up for they're gonna forgive him they're gonna think oh my god this changes everybody who are we now you know what i'm saying i feel like they're gonna forgive him and that's gonna suck 
Um, because Clark, she are, she's already one foot in the door of forgiving him. Because she found out he saved the watch. And she realized that the guy he heartlessly and mercilessly killed was the guy who had it. So I guess in Clark's eyes, it's like he had to to get on the trail of finding them because he did have the watch. Like, that is a reason. So I feel like Clark is going to be weak and he's, she's going to... She's going to forgive him, and I feel like if that happens, I'm, that might knock Clark down a, a couple of pegs or whatever, but that's interesting nonetheless. But then we have the Mount Weather situation where it feels like there's just they jumped too quickly to Jasper asking everybody for help, and everybody flat out told him, no, fuck you, I'm not going to help him. You know what I'm saying? But then all of a sudden we have volunteers that have been going, apparently. I'm just like, wait, what? Like, wh what? I don't, even, I don't even know these people. Like, they mentioned Miller once. Like, once. Literally. And then he's, like, discarded in the background. Like, you're, you're, you're wallpaper. Like, go, go be wallpaper. And then all of a sudden he's on board with us. All of a sudden he's a character. And then this random girl who's just like, I don't think so. Jasper and does her little bitch hair flip and walks away and now all of a sudden she's on board too she's like yeah but how long can we wait for Clark like wait what who are you what <laughs> I, am I crazy did I just like miss something important in this episode I'm gonna try to scrub through here I'm just like wait none of this like like rung a bell I'm like how did we get from no one volunteers to we have volunteers and it's like characters we don't even know. Like that just felt kind of, I don't know, cheap. It just, I don't know. Like I understand getting Monty on board. You'd have to do the long sell, I'm sure. But I would like to have seen the convincing instead of just, oh, now we have volunteers. Like what? I don't know about that. And then what another, what's another thing? Oh, the commander. That was smart to have the commander because I, I knew that girl just being there was just random as fuck and i may have been talking over the introduction of her character of why she was actually there but i knew there was she had to have been a plant to kind of like overhear listen she was more than what we assumed or at least what i assumed of her just some random chick or some lady in the uh the the, the cell i i honestly i might have to go back and see her her introduction because i'm just like did i just miss something Crucial. All right, let me see. What did they say? So she just came in with like water. They didn't even mention what she was doing. I want justice. Okay, is that her first line? They want justice. They want us to turn on each other. They want justice. Hmm. I don't know. So I guess I didn't really miss much of anything. It just just seems random, I guess. Like, I don't know. All right, well, I'm just going to keep moving on because I ain't got all night to talk about this, but I could. And that's what makes this, like, really exciting about, you know, like, show-wise, storyline-wise, character-wise, narrative-wise. It's got me hooked. This show has got me hooked. This is why I'm talking so much. So if that annoys you, too bad, I guess. But, um, so the storyline here, when the guy said... One of you guys will die tonight. And then they said, we're going to make an example out of Jaha. We're going to send a message. And to me, in my mind, my brain says they're going to kill him. But I feel like we're going to jump back to that moment and show like um, a flashback. Jaha will probably explain what happened. And I'm guessing Kane is going to sacrifice himself because he says the key, the first step to making peace with the grounders was sacrifice. And I feel like Kane already was stepping up to the plate, wanting to cut himself, you know, to kill himself. Basically he was there to, to basically sacrifice himself. So I feel like he's going to do that and he's going to get Jaha free or they're going to, because Jaha looked messed up when they found him, or maybe Jaha has to kill him. Uh, Kane, and Jaha have to fight to the death, and Jaha just kills him. Kane lets it happen or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah. And 
Jaha's just alive and he found them. It was just a lot of things just happened and stuff so that are setting up for you know the other for the future storylines. Which is fine. But I'm just like we just kind of jumped too quickly in certain things, and that's just kind of like there, there there's major things happening that just happened too quick. And that was one of the things I kind of didn't like about season one, or at least kind of one of the first few episodes of season one, like the whole Charlotte thing, where oh, she's just a character that was just introduced. She killed off one of our... I don't know. Was anyone really a major character back then? When 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 Wells died? He was a support. He, he felt like an important character. But then she killed him. And then she kills herself. And then it's like, oh, okay, we're just going to forget all that. Um, but I don't know. But what happens next? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happens next, to be honest. I mean, I could. I took my guess... I just don't really know what's going to happen in the long run. Like, what's Jasper's plan? How did he convince? Like, there's just too many things I need I need answered. And I feel like you guys are going to say answers will be happening, which is fine. But I'm just like, right, as it is right now, there's a lot of moving parts, like a lot of parts moving. But I'm just like, I'm wondering how are we getting here? I don't know if I just missed something. That's why it's like frustrating me right now. That's why I'm questioning things. That's why I'm talking so damn much. But whatever, I'm just gonna leave it there. And I'll, I'm sure you guys will explain to me in the comments all that good stuff. But yeah, once again, I guess I'll leave it there. Solid episode nonetheless, but a lot of like what the fuck moments. I'd probably give it a seven or something to be honest, but we'll see what happens next. And of course the fog thing that came out of nowhere too, that was kind of weak and, and cheap. I don't know, it's like whatever. Just like a, like a weird cheap way to just separate our characters. And I don't know, so yeah. 7 out of 10 is probably what I would give it. A lot of like, a lot of things that kept me questioning, and I was just like, eh. But you know, that being said, I'm just going to end it there. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction, you guys want to see this episode with me in its entirety, avoid the YouTube highlights, catch next week's episode right now. Patreon's the place to do it. Links in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is drop a like, Comment down below if you want to see me react to next. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. And of course, share it with your friends. It helps you. Helps me. Helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. That being said, I'm going to get out of here. And I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of The 100, Season 2, Episode 7. Till then, adios.